Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a Shopify connector in Tugger so you can start pulling your store data directly into your reporting tools. Let's take a look. So first things first, you're just going to need to log into your Tugger account. And once you're in, if you go to add connector and then scroll down till you find Shopify, and then you'll see this screen. So here we just need to add in the name of your connector. You can call it whatever you want, but we'll just call it my Shopify connector. And then here you need to put in your store name. Um, if you're not sure what this is, it will be in the hyperlink you use to manage your store. So I'm just going to copy and paste mine in here. And then you scroll down to authorize access to Shopify. Now, one thing to note at this point, if your shop sits under someone else's, if it's one of a collection of stores, you will need to make sure that um, you've got permission to connect with apps. You can do this if you go to settings and then users and permissions. And then under staff, there is an apps and sales channel permissions toggle that you just need to turn on. And um, so once that's all done, if you click authorize access to Shopify, and then that part of the process is complete. So it does take a few minutes for your first tug to be ready, for the data to be ready to pull through. You will get an email when this is ready. So just hang tight and then we can continue. So once you've had your email that says your data is ready, there'll be a link in there to take you to your Tugger dashboard and it will bring you directly to this page. So it's asking which reporting platform we want to connect to and for the purposes of this video, we're gonna go with Power BI. So this page will give us all the information we need to connect Power BI and Shopify. So make sure you've got Power BI open. Um, the first thing that it's asking us to do is set up an OData source. So um, on OData feed, so if we click into Power BI and get data and then OData feed, it's asking us for a URL. So if we go back to this page, you'll see there is an OData URL here. So if you just press copy and then back to Power BI and OK. Then if we go back here, click next, you'll see that you're prompted to add in some credentials. So you need to select basic on the left hand side and make sure that you've got the right URL selected. So if we go to basic and select this longer URL here, you'll see there's also a username and password we need to add in. So if we go back here, you'll see there's a username here. Just press copy and then we'll do the same for password and click connect. Now you will see a load of different tables come up so you can click a few of them. You'll see that there's a preview waiting to come up here in the right hand side and you'll be able to see the information that's going to come up and you just click load. Give it a moment to load all of this data into Power BI. It can take a few moments. And then you will see it all down here on the right hand side in the data column. And that's it. Your Shopify connector is ready to go. As always, if you have any questions, just get in touch with our team and we'd be more than happy to help. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tutorials and click the link in the description for a free Tugger trial. See you soon.